but 2022 started with a bang. We're sitting down watching telly in the mirror. Fell off the wall, down onto the ground, broken shy. And we were so lucky because if Jane had been underneath the car, it would have killed him. Stone dead. Neil came out with the wall. <laughs> bang! Come on, car. Are you starting a fire? Well, yes, I am. <laughs> We'd go into Sparrow there and get the essentials that Vicky forgot Man, yesterday. Good. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Why is there a loaf of bread in the middle of the table, Vic? There is a loaf of bread. Um, Vicky's making New Year's New Year's Day dinner. Clark got a new Manchester United jersey. That's the old Manchester United jersey. By the way, I don't really follow any team, so I don't know where yeah, he gets it. Yeah. <gasps> oh no! Poor baby. Uh oh. Uh oh, you better get her. Oh, Poor baby. Give her a kiss. Clark got a ball for Christmas. No. Yeah. Yeah. Measure speed and how hard you hit it. Yeah. And he's still yeah. trying to figure out how to work it. Yeah. Click the button. I told him already. He's the type of fella that won't ask, try and figure it out himself. He's kneeling down there for the last 10 minutes. Bye, Clark. Alright, I'll hug. No, be careful with the doggy. It's great to have slaves, I mean kids. Hey, hey, get back and hoover. Get back, hey. Go back and hoover. Get your hoover, come on. Do something, pull your way. That's it, hoover. In there. Go on. Help Lily. Keep going. I don't think you use it. Go on. Just do it. There's where the the mirror fell down, look. Took a lump out of the ground and everything. Yeah, good girl. Start the new year as we mean to go on. <laughs> Two more jobs for the little lad before I go back to work, don't I? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Useless. It's actually for the Herman Bob. Last 10 minutes waiting for the machine to warm up. The first day back, I sing little tunes to myself. Nice little tunes. Don't be such a weak ass motherfucker and get into the machine. You pussy wet fucking bitch. Be a man. <clears throat> so I'm manned up and I'm back in the room. Well, technically, it's a cab. I'm not gonna get all technical about it at this stage. This is probably officially my first. It is back to work video back at it a good few a year already after been back fair folks I wasn't really supposed to be back until tomorrow but I couldn't in good faith arrive up here tomorrow morning fucking red early maybe the battery would be dead or something would be wrong and maybe some cunt and there's a few of them around could have came up here nosy and done a bit of harm thank god that didn't happen so I'll go a couple of loads check her over fill her with diesel and have her ready to eat fucking timber over next year this year 
for a while anyway, because new ones coming and then when that does oh, mm, ah! Just that's a grand tail, isn't it? Are you counting? Yeah. I eventually got the winter wonderland that I've been waiting for. Now it's a little bit fucking late. But you take whatever you can get. Personally, I'd love to froze even harder. I'm down to minus fucking 50 tonight. And then this wood would be an awful lot easier to get out. That's wishful thinking. Wishful thinking. Just today and yesterday have been two days of firsts. I nearly turned over the machine twice yesterday. I nearly bogged it today. Well, I didn't bog it up. I nearly did. I nearly never bulled the cow. And I never bogged except for that one time. We don't talk about that. Do we? No. Oh, yeah. I love this weather. I love this weather. Nice and crisp, clean. Free. Fucking hello to you. I was only reading stuff about Australia this Christmas. They have the oldest living civilization, the Aboriginals, nearly 60,000 year old, and it's the only continent without an active volcano. How impressive is that? Look, it could be the alcohol. I did drink large volumes of alcohol at Christmas, but who doesn't? But I still recommend Hennessy and Brew Lager, absolutely, because um, they're both delicious. But be careful with the brandy. The brandy will do you. I thought the brandy will. <laughs> In my bollocks, I wouldn't want to be associated with it. In fact, I don't think I want to be associated with most of the Western culture of this type. You know, there was a highly intelligent population back in the 20s that went fucking bark and mad. They were called the Germans through misinformation and fear and bullshit. Before everyone starts being real dicky saying that I'm just been one of these anti vaxxers and all that, I'm not. I'm not an anti vaxxer. I've got my vaccines. I'm just saying there's no perspective, no logic. Like, what, the last data that I looked at for UK suicide figures was 4,915 people in 2020. 4,915. Something along that line. That doesn't exist. That's not a thing. How many died of COVID? Why is everyone not freaking out about that? That's just one issue. That's just one. That's not even touching on homelessness, poverty, on that. The million, million different issues that are, that don't seem to exist anymore. Yet yeah, we're willing to shut down our society, and give up all our rights for this one. For this one. It just makes sense. Even with the day in, day out coverage of COVID, and what we should do, and washing our hands, and just keeping our distance, and wearing our masks, yet yeah, grand flame. Why is no one saying, if you're fit, if you're healthy, eat good food, don't be fat, then, then, you know, you have a great chance of not getting cold, you know, more vitamin D, there's loads of different things that can help, you know, let's just not socialise with each other, let's close up all the shops, let's not have our kids socialise with each other, let's just shut the whole thing down. Let's give everyone an excuse that's not even sick. All the percentage of useless cunts, an extra excuse to do not. Anyway, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna be banned off this fucking yoke. The reason anyone really fucks up, I wasn't really minding what I was doing. I went around the corner with a full load of commercial, the ground was softer than I anticipated, and it went to turn all right. Swing out the crane real quick. It was very, very fucking scary. And my own fault. But my reaction time is just so quick. Tyson in his prime, he would kill me stone dead, so yeah, 100% they'd rather go broke and own a million. I went broke before and owe plenty of money, and he can just earn it back, so yeah, I'll, I'll take my chances with own money. Actually, look, it doesn't take any energy to speak, especially for me, because I'm only talking shite when I'm on the way in or on the way out or sitting at home. I take a break to have a sip of this beautiful coffee. Well, I would definitely be a lying bastard if I didn't say that I've come on here and chatted to you if everything was A-OK -okay when I was emotionally compromised over one thing or another. You know how it is, life. You just you could be pissed off or you could be sad or you could be upset. But uh, you deal with it as best you can. It's not your problem. No, we were lucky. We sold the house super quick. Super quick. In fact, it was so quick we, we had nowhere to live and we had to find somewhere rapid fast. Hence where we are now. 
and um, no, we were lucky. We were very lucky. Yeah, it's all in the plan anyway. I'm gonna climb Kilimanjaro. I'm gonna run a four minute mile. I'm gonna get back to the gym. Then I get up on the bike more. Get up on Vicky more, if she lets me. It's all part of the plan. All part of the plan. Well, let's put it like this. I can smell it. I can smell it. It's so close. Greg's might even be down this week. Mine? I'm not sure. I can smell it. Well, like I said, I can smell the machines because they're in the country. They're both in Ireland right now. And the Jeep, I'm not sure. I rang this morning wondering on an exact date. I was told the 15th before Christmas, so I'm hoping soon. I'm so looking forward to it. They are Aftershock Aeroplexes. And I love them. At this stage now, Aftershock should pay me. They are, they're a great job. I love them. That's it, Mother Nature. Give me your worst. Drop all that white shite down. I'll get to work. I've Jeep. Oh, look at that. Um, I think that is asking, do I answer my DMs? I do. I, I try to answer as many as I can, but if you have two folders on Instagram, you have your inbox and you have your archive, and there's always like so many of them. I do try and get through them. That's just on Instagram. I also have Snapchat, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, and emails. So you can only allocate yourself a certain amount of time to go through messages and then after that you have to go do your thing and live your life and work and you know yourself, I try. God, that's a long story for another time but I'll shorten it up. I was always on big money, I had a standard of living, I had a house to pay for, a car and um, you know going out all the time, shit like that and when money wasn't as easy and then when the time came where money wasn't as easy earned instead of making better decisions and working harder I decided to make bad decisions work less blame everyone else for my problems and just be a right useless weak cunt but I got sense and I figured out no one was going to save me but myself and I worked my way out of it and it took a long fucking time and it was really really hard and I'm really proud of myself for it so that's a short version for that to clear up, I might as well make myself a little cup of coffee. Terrified of a deer attacking me. Uh, I'm waiting every day for mugs to come in and hoodies and stuff. There was six mugs damaged before Christmas. I need to send them out. People waiting for a few hoodies, so please God, any day. Please God, any day. Come on. Absolutely. I definitely could. Maybe not the drawing of the dicks, but driving a machine. Yeah, because that's systematic. I was one year into a 10 year course with my nephew Sean, but he fucked off. Just coming up to Christmas, I was anything between 8 to 15 cups of coffee. I had 15 cups of coffee one day. And since Christmas, I'm down to three. And I feel it. I'm a little bit jittery. Morning. Can't believe it. No shit or piss anywhere. I better take him out. This is a positive. Well, as you can see, I spoke too soon when I picked him up. He uh, pissed on my jumper. He pissed on my jumper and my t-shirt, so I had to change them this morning before I came to work. <laughs> oh, look at that. Isn't that <laughs> uh, it's such a horrible day. And it's given an orange weather warning for this afternoon for snow and ice, and I hope to God it comes, because anything is better than that. Now, I have to explain this to you, because it used to frustrate me, but now it's given me a huge amount of joy. Now, maybe this is down to my lack of experience dealing with this type of person or the type of person that's educated in that way because look i'm in forestry or machines trucks agriculture we'll say so i've dealt with that type of person my whole life but because of my platform and you know been the ceo of an international e-commerce business building a podcast room uh people wanting you to do advertising, people thinking that you have loads of money and wanting you to invest, etc, etc, etc. Either I am lacking in confidence, which I don't think I am, or people are just so full of shite. Uh, like, it is fucking hilarious. Sorry, I ran out of time. So, I found this niche of people. I'll be honest, they're mostly in sales and marketing. And the confidence, the confidence and the titles that they have and they're really young and they all have one thing in common they've all been useless and have let me down and have nothing to back it up but go look at their LinkedIn 
Like they tell you, oh, go look at my LinkedIn. And I'd read these descriptions and I'd be like, wow, fuck me. Like the descriptions are so good. They're so confident. I would not have the confidence to say what they say on their descriptions. And then you figure out they're all gimps. I, so if someone has let you down or someone that you have decided that they're a fucking idiot, go look at their LinkedIn description. It'll give you a huge amount of joy. It is giving me so much joy. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. You tell me. I. Oh, you fucking bastard! There's definitely a cooling pipe bursted now. Bollocks! 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 Fucking weather today. As you can see, I'm wearing a different jumper now. I always have a spare jumper in the cab. This is one of my older ones. And uh, yeah, a water pipe went. Now the one that I didn't think was quite fixed the last time. Now it wasn't, it blew off it. But I found it, it was just going into the night here. And I also listened to an audio book all day. Got great reviews online called Clara and the Sun about AI, artificial intelligence. It's a fiction novel and it, it was just all right. It was just all right. In fact, it left me a bit, uh, Mm. Mm. Tomorrow I have a, a big day. You'll see tomorrow. Me, me is going on a little twip. A little twip and I'll bring you with me. I'll bring you with me. <laughs> where, did, where, where did you get the jumper for the dog? No, I've been saying. I am the dog. <laughs> oh, what the thing is, Daddy. Hiya, Jane. Do you want me to fix that for you? No.